Okay guys, just a, another 2-pill 2879C uh, with biasing and delay. This one will be uh, the sister or brother amp to the one I just did a video on. Um, so it'd be interesting to see if the output's pretty close to the same, you know, a little more, a little less, whatever. Uh, we'll check it out and, and see what's going on here. We've got our uh, clamp meter hooked up. Uh, we're running the same voltage there, uh, 15 volts. Um, these will handle more than that if you want to. Uh, the, the C's will. That's just where I recommend people to run them for uh, longevity. Uh, as a reminder, we're not driving at full output. We're hitting it with about 50 watts PEP. Um, you see, we didn't have our mic gain even turned up the last video. Maybe we can get a few more watts out of it with the mic gain up. <laughs> but uh, it's uh, it'll take more drive than this radio. Uh, you can put like a Striker 655 or something into one of these 955s. They do do real well with them. Um, but again, two pill 2879C biasing and delay in the middle. The amps off up. It's just regular AM mode. And then down here, you've got your delay. Again, you can hear that very brief period where we're unkeying there, where you can hear the delay kicking in. Then you put it up in AM. Nothing. So, uh, delay is working the way it's supposed to. And uh, then we'll come over here, uh, test it on the clamp meter. I think the last one drew 26, 28 amps, something like that. Uh, we'll see what this one draws. Hello, it's drawing a little bit more. Hello, audio. Audio. So it's drawing about an amp more than what the other one was. Again, there's very small differences in these amps. Uh, no two are going to be precisely and exactly the same, uh, even though these were built together. Uh, every little difference in a component can make just a slight bit of difference and as you can see it adds up and this one draws one amp more so uh see what it does average power um bottom scale thousand watt slug average hello are you are you oh, yeah. so still around 175 or so uh, average <clears throat> so pretty close to the same there and then a uh, PEP hello audio 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 around 400 audio check 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 audio 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 check 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 audio audio 400 PEP uh, I will say I think I mentioned this in some videos before uh, when the biasing is added, it does seem like they show a little bit less on the watt meter. Now, you can say that's because they're cleaner, uh, that the extra wattage that they show without biasing is just some dirty watts, which that's that's possible. I mean, it is, if you don't have the biasing, they are in class C, so um, not that they're just the nastiest amp in the world or anything, but being biased, they're gonna be a little bit cleaner. So I have noticed, um, that when you add biasing to any of these amps, that they do show a little bit less on the watt meter. So if that bothers you, you know, uh, don't get biasing. <laughs> uh, but still showing uh, 400 PEP, uh, 175, 180 average, something like that. So this is a good running amp. Basically shows the same as the last one did. And uh, this one's also sold, of course. Um, same gentleman got this one that got the other one. So. Uh, they'll be going out together. All right, guys. Uh, appreciate it. Uh, it's going to be Fat Boy uh, Overload today, probably. Uh, lots of lots of customer videos going on. So, um, questions, comments, complaints, let me know. Shoot me a text. 423-299-3535. Rooster in Tennessee. See you. Bye.